A multi-billion dollar offshore wind farm has been proposed off Tasmania's northeast. The scale of the project is a first for the state and could generate enough energy to power hundreds of thousands of homes. The water separating Tasmania from the rest of the country could soon be home to an offshore wind farm. We think it's appropriate that these turbines be placed uh, you know, a pretty reasonable amount of distance offshore, so really that they have either minimal or no visual impact. A site in Bass Strait between Georgetown and Flinders Island has been picked. The turbines will be fixed to the seabed up to 60 metres deep and could take up an area as big as Cape Barren Island. To service the uh, emergent hydrogen industry at Bell Bay, uh, to support Tasmanian industry and also to be in a position to be able to uh, support the transition on the mainland of uh, fossil fuel generation to green renewable energy. It will generate between 500 and 1,000 megawatts of renewable energy, which is enough to power 325,000 homes. But one expert says it may not go ahead without Marinus Link, the proposed electricity interconnector between Tasmania and Victoria. I guess the question is how would you go getting finance and secondly the question is if you've really only got a limited number of customers that represents a much higher risk. We believe the project will be viable without um, Marinus. Uh, the whole idea is that this is very much a Tasmania centric project. The scale of the project is bigger than any wind farm in Tasmania. The Granville Harbour wind farm generates about 100 megawatts while Cattle Hill generates about 140 megawatts. The offshore proposal could generate 10 times that amount. The hydrogen plants will need a massive amount of electricity and offshore wind farms have the capacity to provide that energy. There's concerns over its impact on bird life. We know that there are many threatened species that migrate between Tasmania and the mainland. The last thing we want to do is add another threat or another risk to an already threatened species. The proponents hope the wind farm will be up and running by 2026. April McLennan, ABC News.